Hi everyone, today I'm just um, going to be talking to you about the spirit of distraction and how to maintain focus and continue with the goals that you have planned, your short term, your long term goals. So uh, I'll just be driving and uh, I'll be talking away about how to stay focused on, on goals and the different scenarios that you may encounter that will take you off or take your mind away from achieving those goals and this is something what I call the spirit of distraction very well known in the spiritual life uh, whether you're you know, Christian or if you're Buddhist or, or Muslim or you uh, practice uh, any sort of spirituality there is definitely that spirit of distraction that I think every single one of us encounters and the spirit of distraction can come into various ways and forms you can wake up in the morning and you may be distracted by the news um, for example you wake up in the morning and there is some war that just broke out or some stock went king down for a certain company and it's devastating for you because you own stock in that company and it distracts you from achieving your your goals because now your mind and your and your thoughts and your emotions are all directed on a different path. Uh, I'll be focusing I guess uh, more on financial goals so in this case say you're trying to stay focused on generating a certain amount of income for your family for yourself to pay off your to pay off your mortgage to pay off your your monthly bills and say you're dependent on one uh, extra sources of income so not just one stream of income and you need to stay focused on um, contacting clients you need to stay focused on <clears throat> Receiving emails, sending out emails, responding on the problem uh, on the right time, purchasing equipment, purchasing supplies. So the issue uh, in this case happens where you wake up in the morning and there's some bad news coming up or something that just distracts you. So all of a sudden, your emotions, your mindset is now distracted away from your goal of, for example, responding to a client or reading emails or checking out. A purchasing product so now you've created a delay and that delay is going to cost because it depends on how well you're distracted um, you, you may delay your work for half a day you may delay your work for a full day depending on how how much distractions uh, affect you and Distractions come in various forms. They could come, for example, in an argument. You may have some sort of argument with your spouse. You may have some argument with your kids. So now, rather than um, sit, keeping your mind focused on, for example, preparing yourself for your next upcoming um, lesson with a student, or you know, preparing yourself for your next upcoming meeting with a client, now all your emotions, your mindset are, are out of whack uh, per se and it's going to take some extra effort to recoup and get back on track because now these feelings are have taken over your mind and taken over your, your, your soul taken over your, your eyes and everything so your your body is is all not not in sync uh, the spirit of distraction can come into different uh, shapes and forms as i mentioned so it can come in the forms of news Broadcasting news, economic news, world news, politics. It can come in, in the forms of um, personal affairs. So your wife, for example, arguments or children with your dad, with your mom. The spirit of destruction also comes in the ways of payment. So, for example, you're watching TV and your show. Uh, you find yourself rather than being productive. For example, studying for those final exams or studying for your next upco upcoming uh, term test or term paper, you find yourself watching uh, movies or, or, or soap operas or series one after another and soon after you find yourself on YouTube uh, digging into the tubes for hours and hours with the age of the internet. It's so easy to be distracted. 
distract, partially be distracted and partially achieve your goals. For your peace, peace of mind, rest, for your family. But during those crunch times of focusing on generating, for example, income or focusing on studying for your final exam, it should be solid blocks of time that your mind and spirit and soul is focused on doing those tasks and achieving them. So this takes time, this takes persistence, and it takes uh, dedication. As well, it takes a psychology. If you're in a depressed mood, if you're not feeling too well, uh, emotionally, spiritually, uh, physically, you're not in the mood to be productive, then you're not gonna be productive. You're not gonna achieve those goals uh, in, in, in a right manner. In a, in a Where so the they come, the root is the same, is to get you off the track for the goals that you have in mind. It gets you off track for uh, your diet, gets you off track, for example, if your goal is exercise, if you're to be more present, present, presentable um, at your workplace, to be more available for your kids. Those goals are being obstructed by distractions, which have, in essence, no long-term or even no short-term gain. So these distractions, for example, watching series and soap operas, they, if they distract you from making money then or generating income, those aren't giving you uh, uh, or, or providing you any income. Those are giving you zero income. There is zero income on them, uh, on watching series. But when you are productive and focus on generating income, you can generate a nice uh, amount of wealth for paying off your bills, paying off your mortgage, staying uh, uh, on, top of, off, on top of things financially. For example, if you're distracted of going out with the guys and not spending time with your family and your kids, that's gonna come back to you, uh, maybe not in the short term, but more on the long term because your kids are need your attention. Kids need, need your uh, availability to look after the needs, to build a relationship with your family. Yeah, it's important to socialize with the guys, but you can't socialize with the guys 98% uh, of the time and spend 10% of the time with your kids. So those socializing with the guys going out is distraction, in my opinion, uh, if it's taking away from your family time. So distractions in any way or form can be uh, devastating on the mind, on the soul, and, and, and it just aggravates you more and more. You look at yourself and you look back and reflect on your past one, two, three years and you say, I should have done these things differently, but I was distracted. What are the solutions to distraction? So the solutions to distraction, you can get books, you can go online, you can go watch videos, you can learn different tactics, but the root of solving a distraction is the same. You need to come with clarity to yourself, look yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, what, what is my goal and how am I going to achieve that goal? And how am I going to achieve that goal is by eliminating the distraction from the root. By having my mindset, having my thought and clarity on that goal. And, in never, and, and looking at a distraction as an enemy. You have to reach that conclusion that distractions are eliminating you from your goal. It's eliminating you from achieving that goal and that's an enemy that's hurting you. When you come to that mindset that that distraction is not leading for your goodness, it's not leading for your well-being, it's actually distracting you, distraining you, making you more depressed on the long run, then you can now create a box and isolate yourself from these distractions and flip them away like flies. So that's how you have to start your route of solving any distractions or getting rid of getting rid of from your life is by Putting your mindset, getting in the zone, you know, something called in basketball, you have to, or in other sports, you have to get in your zone. It takes some time, it takes some time to warm up. You gotta take a few shots. You gotta you got miss a few shots, you gotta miss a few layups, you gotta get warmed up. But once you're warmed up, and once you're in the zone, no one's gonna stop you. Nothing's gonna stop you. Nothing's gonna stop you. Nothing. You know, you gotta get in your zone, you gotta put yourself in your mind and your heart in what your goal is and you gotta achieve it. And you gotta believe in yourself that you can achieve that goal. No matter what distractions are there. Distractions can be negative comments. 
can be something unproductive. There's positive criticism that's building upon how to become better, and there's negative criticism just to make you feel bad, just to degrade your emotion, degrade your self-worth or self-esteem. Now, those are distractions uh, on their own, but the route to solve the distractions for you to come to clarity with what your goal is, what you believe in, and what you want to achieve. And to achieve those goals, you need to filter away distractions by looking at those distractions as enemies.